Hi guys, my name is Ron Lovett. I'm training out of Galway, Ireland. I'm a purple belt in BJJ. I'm going to start a, ju a Jiu Jitsu YouTube channel and my very first video is going to be about solo drills because over these massive lockdowns, we've, uh, I've learned a way of improving my Jiu Jitsu without any training partners, gym or anything. I just had some mats at home. So let's get started. Okay, so the very first solo drill is the most obvious. We use it when we're playing guard. We use it for guard retention, butterfly guard, X guard, all kinds of guard where you use hooks. So this is just leg pommeling, okay? Or foot pommeling, okay? So basically you're gonna lie on your back. The easiest way to learn is just lying supine. And we're just gonna spin our legs the same way, okay? It just means we can get our legs back in for triangles, okay? And when we stop, we're going to stop uh, not at the same spot so the opponent can't smash both our legs at once, okay? So it's just here. We just spin and stop. Spin and stop. So the next one is we're basically miming a side control escape back to full guard, okay? So just bear with me with this one. It'll be very, very useful in most of jiu-jitsu, especially guard retention. So we start off on our back, okay? And we're gonna go to a side as if someone's passing a guard on this side. And I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna connect my knee to my elbow, like this. Now I'm gonna bring my leg out, and as soon as I feel the connection, I'm gonna scissor and bring my, all my weight into my shoulder and get up. Now, I can either single leg or roll. So for this one, I'm gonna roll and get back my full guard. So the next one is when someone uh, starts passing and you have to use your knee, uh, your frame and your high leg to get out of there, okay? So this might be hard to picture, but just do as I do, as I do and you'll get good at retaining guard. So we start off and we're going to keep our knee and elbow connection and as if they're trying to pass this way. So then I'm gonna throw my leg up and touch it off the floor. And then come back down, up and touch it off the floor. So a knee elbow connection, elbow on the outside, outside of the knee, the knee's stronger. And we're gonna put the other leg on the floor. Simple as that. Also, if there's any sounds during this, we're sorry, there's a kid's class on. Um, it's just the way it is, we train in a gym. So the next one is gonna be the logical lead on from the last one, the high leg, okay? So this is the inverted spin, okay? So it's just the same as the high leg, but I'm gonna keep my foot on the floor and spin on it. So this foot here is the most important part of this because it represents the post that will probably be on your opponent. So now I start turning and I keep it and then my foot's flat on the floor and I'm back into full guard. Yeah. So for this, for this solo drill, we're gonna be doing the pendulum escape to side control, okay? So this is quite easy to drill on your own because uh, it's just kind of a very, a very singular movement. So we're going to lie back, we're going to, imagine our opponent is passing to this side and we're gonna frame as if he is to stop it, okay? Now I'm gonna put my other elbow on the floor and I bring this leg up and I swing it down and sit out. So once again, I frame, I bring the other leg up as the, uh, as the elbow posts against the floor. I swing this leg to create momentum and get to my hand like this. This foot comes to the floor and now I can just butt scoop away and get back to full guard. So the next one is a very basic one, but it kind of, it's kind of hard at first. But once you get the proper technique, it's very, very easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, roll over our shoulders, okay? So I'm going to hug my legs, make sure my torso is right beside my knees, and I'm going to use this elbow to get onto my shoulders. The point of this one, though, is we're going to keep our feet on the floor as, for as long as we can. So the first foot goes onto the floor, I get to my shoulders, the next foot goes onto the floor. Now I take the first foot off the floor, and I keep the other one on the whole spin. And I'm back to full guard, or... <laughs> Whatever, God. So sometimes it's easier to learn the circular roll with a wall because you can post on it with your feet. So what we do is we start with our legs very slightly bent with our feet on the wall. And I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to, I'm going to start inverting and use my left arm to get to my shoulders. So I'm going to go here and I start walking on the wall. And now once I'm on my, on my shoulders, I just take the first leg off and spin with the other as a post. So the next one 
Every jujitsu guy knows this, but you still have to do it every day if you're doing movement drills, okay? And it's just shrimping. So for those of you, you who don't know, I'll explain it. We start on our back. I'm going to put my leg out far, and I'm going to go to my side and bring my hips up, okay? So we go back again. I bring my leg out far. I go to my side and bring my hips up. So it just looks a bit like this. Now please note, there's two types of shrimping, okay? There's sliding shrimp and uh, power shrimp, okay? So the one I was doing there was power shrimp and my hips don't touch the floor. But the sliding shrimp is also relevant and it just goes like this. You put your foot out far and you slide. Usual successful mountain escapes using shrimps is a sliding shrimp, then a power shrimp. So the difference being the sliding shrimp, I keep contact with the floor and I just push my hips by straightening my legs, okay? With the power shrimp, I, keep, I, I, I get contact with my left leg and I put all my weight in my shoulders and then I shrimp in the air. The real challenge, if you want, is to not let your hips touch the ground at all. That'll get you a nice strong core. Okay, so the next one is for knee slices, okay? So we're gonna basically take a horse stance, okay? Real wide, maybe a bit wider than horse stance. I'm no good at yoga. We'll see that in a later video. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start going over to one side and then I'm gonna drop my knee on the floor and bring it back and go over to the other side. Drop my knee on the floor and just try and keep balance. If you're struggling at first, you can do this, okay? Yeah, that's the easier version, but it'll still give you the balance of going down, okay? But once you get good, you'll just be able to go back and forth. So it's like a jiu-jitsu horse stance, I don't know. And uh, if you want a bit more of a workout, you just put your other foot further away. So thanks so much for watching till the end. I hope this is useful to you. Uh, please subscribe if it is. Uh, there'll be plenty more good information coming and a lot more vlogs about jiu-jitsu and how we train here in Gold. And as the afterthought, here's the reasons for the screaming in the background. We're future champions getting ready.